the entrance antithon. O Lord, I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. Good morning. The mass intention for today's mass is for Janet and Eddie Brignac. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God, Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the beginning of the book of Sirach. All wisdom, <clears throat> all wisdom comes from the Lord, and with him remains forever, and is before all time. The sand of the seashore, the drops of rain, the days of eternity, who can number these? Heaven's height, earth's breadth, the depths of the abyss, who can explore these? Before all things else, wisdom was created and prudent understanding from eternity. The word of God on high is the fountain of wisdom and her ways are everlasting. To whom has wisdom's root been revealed? Who knows of subtleties? To whom has the discipline of wisdom been revealed? And who has understood the multiplicity of her ways? There is but one wise and true, awe-inspiring, seated upon his throne. There is but one most high, all-powerful, creator king, and truly awe-inspiring one, seated upon his throne, and he is the God. It is the Lord. He created her through the Holy Spirit, has seen her and taken note of her. He has poured forth, he has poured her forth upon all his works, upon every living thing according to his bounty. He has lavished her upon his throne friends. The word of the Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. Everlasting are you, O Lord. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. Alleluia. 
our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. As Jesus came down from the mountain with Peter, James, John, and approached the other disciples, he saw a large crowd around them and scribes arguing with them. Immediately on seeing him, the whole crowd was utterly amazed. They ran up to him and greeted him. He asked them, What are you arguing with them about? Someone from the crowd answered him, Teacher, I have brought to you my son, possessed by a mute spirit. Whatever, whenever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, grinds his teeth, and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive it out, but they weren't able to do so. He said to him in reply, O oh, faithless generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring him to me. They brought the boy to him. And when he saw him, the spirit immediately threw the boy into convulsions. As he fell to the ground, he began to roll around and foam at the mouth. Then he questioned his father, How long has this been happening to him? He replied, Since childhood, it has often thrown him into fire and into water to kill him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you can, Everything is possible to one who has faith. Then the boy's father cried out, I do believe. Help my unbelief. Jesus, on seeing a crowd rapidly gathering, rebuked the unclean spirit and said to him, Mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Shouting and throwing the boy into convulsions that came out, he became like a corpse which caused many to say, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, raised him, and he stood up. When he entered the house, his disciples asked him in private, why could we not drive the spirit out? He said to them, this kind can only come out through prayer. The Gospel of the Lord. quite a, a dramatic story of Jesus' miraculous healing of this young boy. But I think if we look a little more closely, the story is more about the father than it is about the boy. Jesus had given his disciples the power to heal, to even drive out demons. And knowing, uh, that, uh, knowing this, this father brings the boy to the disciples, seeking healing while Jesus is away up on the mountain. But we read that the disciples were unable to heal the boy. I can't imagine the, the, the disappointment that this man must have felt. The disciples were healing all other people, but they weren't able to heal his son. We don't know how old this boy was, but the father said he has been suffering it since childhood. And it's quite a dramatic affliction that often casts him down into fire and water, trying to kill him, the man says. So it's no wonder that this boy's father, after a long affliction, after the disciples' inability to heal, it's no wonder that he was slow to believe that Jesus could heal. He says, if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Notice he says, help us, desiring help for himself as well. The man's son had been tormented so long with such a severe affliction. But the son was not the only one affected. The father was too. This hardship it had taken its toll on him. This hardship had caused him to kind of harden his heart, to doubt the healing power of Jesus. If you can do anything, he says. Sometimes our own afflictions, our own hardships, they seem to last forever. Sometimes the pain and suffering of those we love seem to never come to an end. And it's our human brokenness that sometimes these long sufferings, they cause us to harden our hearts, even when we don't realize it. Even when we don't want to, we can begin to doubt 
we can begin to doubt the Jesus. We begin to say to him, even if not explicitly, if you can. But Jesus says that everything is possible to the one who has faith. So when the suffering of this world around us, when it begins to harden our hearts, when our own suffering, the suffering of those we love, causes us to even subtly doubt the power of Jesus, Jesus asks us to have faith, to have faith that he can heal. And more importantly, to have faith that what we are experiencing, that what our loved ones are going through, is exactly for the good of our souls. When Jesus' disciples asked him why they couldn't drive out the evil spirit, he says to them, he says to them, this kind can only come out through prayer. And this man, this father, gives us the perfect prayer. Jesus, I believe, help my unbelief. We don't know why there is pain and suffering in our world. We don't know why we or our loved ones continue to go through these hardships. But we do know that as Jesus says, with prayer and faith in him, all things are possible. Trusting in the providence of our Father and his love for each one of us, we offer the following prayers and petitions. That, that the church may continue to be graced with shepherds after Christ's own heart, who lead his church with love and care. Let us pray to the Lord. That God may pour forth his wisdom upon world leaders in all positions of power. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who struggle with doubt that God hears their prayers, may be consoled and strengthened by the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. And for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving and faithful God, we trust in your divine plan. We trust in your providence for us and those we love. For we know that you live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness, we have received the bread we have. Fruit of the earth and work of your hands. Though we come for us the bread of life. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness, we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. Will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due. We humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift
present of your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Savior's command, born by divine teaching, we dare to say. safe from all distress, 
as we wait for the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us all free each other, the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion ends at on the second option. Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming into this world.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Saint Michael, we are amen.